I apologize on behalf of our nation's law enforcement for this decades-long injustice. Monumental acquittals in the assassination of one of the most influential civil rights activists in history, Malcolm X. They're huge. It's delayed justice, badly delayed justice. <laughs> Almost 60 years later, Malcolm X, an outspoken figure, one who has ties to Louisville through Muhammad Ali, then known as Cassius Clay. They met through the Nation of Islam. Immediately attracted to each other. Both of them incredibly articulate individual. Both of them handsome. Both of them, you know, with a little bit of swagger to them. Uh, the, you know, they were kindred spirits from the very beginning. Randy Roberts, a Purdue University distinguished history professor, calls them blood brothers. Their bond detailed in never before aired documents from the FBI, from instilling confidence in Clay before his fights to referencing him in his speeches. Their friendship would end in 1963 when Malcolm X spoke out about John F. Kennedy's assassination, something the leader of the Nation of Islam advised against. And so Cash Clay decides to stay with the Nation of Islam. He turns his back on Malcolm X. And that's when he says, you know, anybody that opposes the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is, is guilty, is, is, is a traitor. It deserves nothing but death. Suspended from the Nation of Islam, Malcolm X creates his own group, the Organization of Afro-American Unity, and becomes a more orthodox Muslim. Clay moving up in the ranks in the Nation of Islam, becoming Muhammad Ali. His guilt about their friendship wouldn't take hold until after Malcolm X was assassinated. He said often or a number of times that one of the great things he regrets in his life was his split with with Malcolm X.